actresses, and my first three guests have won the Golden Globe Award in the past, along with lots of others awards. My first guest won her first Golden Globe in 1982 for her performance in East of Eden. She's also won an Emmy and been nominated so many times for awards she can't even keep track. This year, she's been nominated for Best Actress in a Drama Series for her role in the CBS hit, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Please welcome Jane Seymour. of mine. He won a Golden Globe for his role in the critically acclaimed miniseries War and Remembrance, an epic he did with James. And he's also won several Tonys, and I first met him when he originated the part of Danny Zuko in the Broadway Company of Greece. Please welcome Barry Boswick. <laughs> for his performance as Lieutenant Castillo in Miami Vice. And he is currently nominated for a Golden Globe Award for his performance in the HBO movie, The Burning Season. He was also nominated for an Oscar for his performance in Stand and Deliver. Please welcome Edward James Almost. Thank you, Edward. Thank you. Sit down. Please, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody's just so excited that you guys are here. I'm just so thrilled that well, you're here. Well, thank you. We are too. Thank you for inviting us. Well, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, you have to get actors who have been in the business a long time, who have been through a lot of things, who have won awards, to talk about something like this, don't you mm -hmm. think? I mean, mm -hmm. so pick three people that happen to know each other and are really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> How you did that? That yeah. was completely. I have I, on my show. I like to do what I call the mad chemist, uh, and I put three people together and we just <laughs> kind of bounce the ball around and see what happens. And I can't yeah. believe that you. I mean, this is just really the luck of the draw. I mean, I'm yeah. very lucky today. And we were born on the same day. And I was born like about nine days before that. Different years. <laughs> so we should be doing our oldest, birthday okay. cake. No. <laughs> That's what we should be doing. But now you two have worked together, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. actually you worked, but you were, didn't play opposite each other in More in Remembrance, which is what no. you won your Golden Globe for. Yes, yes. No, I was in the Pacific. I was uh, basking on a submarine, getting a nice tan, and she was in Poland, I think, in the I middle of winter. in uh, minus 24 degrees. Losing with, weight, right? Losing a lot of weight and a lot of hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now you didn't, you were nominated for that part, but you didn't get one for that. No, they gave it to Barry. Yeah, thanks for yeah, coming. Right. <laughs> well, I didn't hear about it backstage, right? <laughs> right? But now you were nominated for the first time for East of Eden. I was nominated for East of Eden, and I was so shocked because I won it. Mm -hmm. And I'd just given, given birth to my first daughter, to mm -hmm. Katie, and I well, was actually, still feeding her. You know what? We have that clip. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> <No. laughs> so we're going to show the audience what Jane was like when she won her Golden Globe. Talk about it, Right there. I had no intention of winning anything. I was just supposed to feed the baby tonight. I just hope she'll forgive me, little Katie. She's only three weeks old today, and I can tell it's time for a feeding. <laughs> Something. That's why I've never won one since. I'm so, <laughs> so just too embarrassed to have me come home on the podium. <laughs> Did you plan that as a speech? No, I didn't think I was going to win. Oh, so I, it wasn't even something you... I, I was in total, win. total shock. You know, I don't think you ever think you're going to no. win. No. And I said, but you prepared, no don't speech. you? Don't you no. think you... I mean, I always prepared my five times. I never... <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that was the jinx. <laughs> maybe that was the jinx. Practicing in front of the mirror before I left. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I think the last time I went to one of these award things, I, I like... 30 seconds before I went on, I turned to my husband and I said, what is the name of, of my agent? What is the name of the person? Right writing on my hand, anything, just in case, you know, it would be so awkward yeah. if I forgot their names. <laughs> when you're but, sitting there, I mean, yeah. there's nothing worse. First of all, you're in the land where... We're back 
to Jane Seymour, Edward James Almost, and Barry Boswick in a preview of this year's Golden Globes. And we've been talking about the Golden Globes, but now I want to catch up with everything personal about you guys, okay? I'll save your big news. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But Jane, I want to talk to you about why you decided to do a television series, because I remember running into you at the Emmys, and it had just gone on the air. Right. Well, um, I went through a, a horrible divorce, and, uh, and I was broke, and I was... <laughs> <laughs> I, now she's laughing a lot. I'm sure you weren't laughing a few years ago. No, I was not laughing at all. And my agent said, I think you need to work yesterday. And so he told me about the script. And um, in fact, I was told, everybody said, you know, don't look at it because half-hour comedy is what you want to do. At least you have a life. Do not even read it. And of course, I read it in the middle of the night. The next morning, I had to make a decision by 10 a.m. I signed on for five years knowing that it would never be picked up as a series. Mm. And I've just signed on now for another six years, which will make it nine years. So... Needless to say, I'm now very happy I'm doing it. I love the show, and mm -hmm. I love the people on it, and I never thought I could enjoy doing a series, ever. But every week, it's a, it's a whole different theme. Every week, you know, we have something that I find important to say. And, no, it seems uh, like a perfect character for you, It's too. a great character. It's great fun, and, and I love the people I'm working with, and I love the material that we have. And, you know, in, a, in an age where there's so much violence and the families are so kind of busted up and kids don't really understand what families are about. It's so nice that on Saturday nights they can sit down and see everyone sitting down to dinner and discussing life and sorting out problems which relate to today as well as to the 1860s. And you look so good in those costumes, doesn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have time to go to the gym, because I don't know if anyone knows, but you work on these shows 16, oh, yeah. 18 hours a day. I didn't have time to go to the gym, so it's just as well I've got these long, <laughs> long dresses. Yeah, you look really shabby in that black, <laughs> clean thing you've got on. <laughs> you look great. Well, thank you. Did you know that, that we worked together once? You didn't? I, you... I could embarrass him, and I think I will. Oh, go ahead. Oh, do, please. Because we work together, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, people always say, you know, what's it like you know, doing love scenes and things? And I always try not to answer these questions, but Barry and I had a love scene once. Uh -huh. Did you yeah. have clothes on? Uh -huh. yeah. Barry, where we were you? <laughs> I, I, I was unconscious. I know, <laughs> I know where he was. The girls I always remember. Was. Well, I always slept on the set, and the set in this case yeah. happened to be a bed, and I was already in there, and Barry made a late entrance, and um, the director happened to be my future husband. <laughs> were you dating then? Oh, very much. Oh, you were my husband, dating? definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it was yeah. definitely. We were co-producing the film. He oh, was directing oh, it. He already. set up the shot. I was lying there, ready. You know, I was sort of looking like I didn't have any clothes on, but I, you know, I obviously did. And, and the whole crew waiting. And Barry came in, and he had a robe, you know, traditionally took the robe off, climbed in. And he took his underpants yeah. off and threw them at my husband and said, I'm ready now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear you say. <laughs> 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 Very true. I, I didn't yeah, look to see, you know. I know. I mean, you, we you all. Know. Did you have any knee action? No wonder. <laughs> well, I mean, the fact <laughs> of the matter is, I have to clear Barry's name. He did have a second pair on at oh, the time. Yeah, so he yeah, did yeah, it as a joke. Yeah, but but I, my, it was comedy. My no. future husband had no idea no. that he had a second pair no, on. No. I see. What did he? He went Took, white. Oh, right? white. Took him days right. to get over it. Days. <laughs> he went like this. He went. He went all right, does we're remember. ready. <laughs> <laughs> the whole crew just thought, oh my God, what's going to happen? But he, I mean, he obviously made it okay for Barry to be cast. Right? Oh, yeah. you. So, yes. yeah. 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 We went to one of these skiing, Marjorie Gorton skiing events, and we cast him there. We saw him skiing down the mountain. We said he'd be perfect for an, a husband for me to film. <laughs> this, is, this, is how you get, this is how you get jobs, people, all right? Everything's <laughs> 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 you have to study. You just have to look good on skis. That's it. That's it. <laughs>